Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Second and Century 3! Last time, we infiltrated the Kingdom of Volante, tried to take it back from the Navarre Raiders. Get it back for at least... I mean, we are on the payroll, so hopefully we can get a decent reward. Any treasure? Hey, hey, alright! Uh-oh. Try that. Come on! Yes! All right. Oh, a seed. Not that I'm going to use it, but that can be used to grow some, I think, some, like, battle items or something like that randomly. But I wouldn't use it for that. I'm just going to use it for, well, the 50 HP on all of us here. Seems like kind of a roundabout way to get to the throne room, though, at least. For boss time against Genova. Okay, we got... Well, she's basically a furnace. First thing she'll do is summon these shapeshifters. And if you can, you want to try and kill them quickly because the next thing she'll do is cast power up on all of them and then they can really wail on you. So take them out pretty quickly to get rid of that problem. The other problem with these guys is that every time they shapeshift, they get the HP of whatever they shapeshifted into. So they effectively get all their HP back. So, uh, guys... You're gonna help me out? I can't do this by myself. Okay, good. Oh, and we get a level. Awesome. Could use a little more defense there. Let's see. Lise and Duran might need some healing coming up. Yep, now I need it. Basically, the way I would handle the healing at this point is if you've lost less than 100... Well, let's say... If you've lost anywhere from like 80 to 150 HP, I would use a round drop. But if you... Uh-oh, this is going to reduce my max HP. But if you've lost like more than 150 HP, I would just use a chocolate so you don't run out of healing items. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, but you want to be careful. Okay, yeah, you want to try and keep your party members above... 80, maybe even 100 HP if you can. Now, one of the interesting things about the lunatic spell that she keeps on using on us is that it's one of the, it's not the only one, one of the very few debuffs that actually has a timer and will go away even before uh, leaving the screen or anything like that. Okay, so let's see. We want to heal up Lise. See, Duran. I can just use a candy on him for now. But yeah, since the status will go away, or the max HP drop will go away eventually, you don't even need to bother curing it, like with a Stardust Herb or anything like that. We're going to want Stardust Herbs coming up here, and Hawk is taking a bit too much damage. Okay, well, how about you two go after the mobs that she summons there? I'll just save it until she gets power up. There we go. Way too much damage. Well, I got the lunatic thing going, but yeah. By the way, another thing you could do with Genova, if you bought the proper items at the Bazel Black Market, she is weak to ice or water. So if you wanted to uh, use those on her to deal some ice damage, you could. Or you could have also used, they had some ice saber items, and that would increase her drastically increase your melee damage so that can be pretty good for you too but at this point you're really not intended to have access to those spells yet so and, and the boss isn't that hard to deal with anyway you want to watch out for the armor knight there because if she casts power up on it then it could potentially use a full screen tech on your party and you could probably die uh, what, what happened? Oh, I got Tobiko. Right. I was like, what am I doing in my inventory? Some... Yeah, I wouldn't worry about the other mobs for now. You know, it almost seems better for me not to target them. Because it seems like Hawk and Lee just go right after them. Or whoever I'm not targeting. Even though I set their AI to assist me. So, yeah, I don't know how that works. 
Okay, did someone get to be code? Yes, she Or... Um... Oh, okay. We got her. Yes! I meant to do that! I was gonna try and cure it, but no! She just had to die. How inconvenient. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah, it's at about this point in the game where we're really gonna want to start putting some more love priority, higher priority, on vitality. Okay, so how are we doing here? We need a lot more round wraps in. Good thing we got extras. And, oh, yeah, we got plenty of dream sea herbs. Man, I'm never gonna be able to use all these. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be fine. But there are some times when I like using them. Not so much early in the game. They're more useful later on. Uh-oh. Well, you wouldn't know these two guys unless you went through Hawk's intro. But I did that in one of the other LPs. Fusion, huh? Yeah, pretty much. For boss time against... Well, I don't know what they would be called together like that, but... Bill and Ben. Now, that shuriken attack lowers your hit rate, but, like I said, it's bugged, so I wouldn't worry about it. Now, what you want to try and do is back them into a corner, but they're going to keep on trying to throw shurikens at you to get it, get out of your, or get out of the, get us out of their way. Uh, you know, let's use that seed about now. That could be good. Come on, we got to get them in the corner. Ugh, they got out. I'll just do the best I can. Well, maybe we can get one of them in the corner and try to isolate them from the others. Do you have anything else you could do? Wow! I don't think I've ever seen them use shurikens that often that early in the fight. Man. Now, one thing they could do well, is that. That will kill you if you're not at max HP already. Wow! Holy cow! Okay, uh, Hawk, you're you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, just wait a moment. Uh, let's see. Let's heal up, please. Yeah, they just chained those two spells together, and I didn't even have time to react. Thanks, game. Well, he'll be revived at full anyway. We got plenty of angel trails, but yeah, sometimes yeah, that just happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. One thing I would try to do is if they use Thunder Jutsu on you like that, you know, I, sh I should do this. I want to remove that because Thunder Jutsu lowers your attack power. So I forgot about that because Hawk died and, well, that was kind of a higher priority for us at the time. Okay, at least get a little more healing going there. Yeah, unfortunately, without Carly in the party, we really don't have much in the way of healing other than using items so but we got them both hooray hey Isabella I've got something for you yeah what's going on oh ah, okay I guess her name's pronounced Bijou Bijou I don't know Well, yeah, that is the general idea. Oh, right. Nuts. So, we came all this way for nothing? Where are you going now? Well, we did kind of destroy her invasion army, so... Hey, alright! Are we entitled to a reward? Nope. You know, just once in a JRPG, I'd like to see it where you get revenge on someone and it feels pretty good. They always seem to be like, oh, well, yeah, we got revenge, but yeah, it still sucks. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah, can I get rid of the curse and then we can kill her? Well, yeah, we're all kind of going after the Monosword. By the way, if you don't have Lee in your party, 
she would still be here anyway. Ah, well, that doesn't work for me, but whatever works for you, sure. Well, you're screwed. We don't have an arm, or we don't have much of an army. Oh, okay. Shouldn't they have not worked on you to begin with, though? I mean, you kind of live in the area. I would think, well, whatever. Yeah, I can be in charge instead. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. Well, someone's got to get the job done. Well, you can just let the old man be in charge. Who's the one next to him, anyway? I don't know. But, alright, more wind spirits. So, now what we got to do is get back to Porsena. So that way, well, we can find out the location of the other amount of spirit. So, I'm going to walk all the way back to Palo off screen. And then I'll meet you there. Okay, we're back at Palo here. What's going on? Well, we got happy music again, so I guess we kicked out all those Nabar Raiders, huh? Well, you wouldn't really know who Nikita is unless you went through Hawk's intro there. Well, it looks like the spell is broken on him or whatever. He is. I mean, he wasn't working with them, but... He's from the same place. Oh, huh? what's going on? Yeah, let's find out. That's... Huh? Well, yeah, if you were in Hawk's intro, the, uh, that was the cell that he was originally put in. But yeah, you could kind of see a little shadow on the wall there. That's they he escaped through the wall because it's a really bad prison. But yeah, they they fortified the walls or whatever, so yeah, you can't do that this time. Yeah, the Montessor to solve all our problems. Do you have any really powerful and expensive armor for us to buy? No, that's another game. But what I do want to do is stay here to heal up a little bit. I don't really care whether it's day or nighttime where I'm going, but if you have Kevin in your party, you want to make it daytime now, because by the time we get to the next dungeon, it'll be nighttime. So, yeah, let's uh, make a backup save, just in case. And before going back to Forsana there, we can buy some new weapons and armor here. Yeah, they don't exactly tell you about that. You just gotta kind of check it every now and then. Let's see, new weapons and body armor. We're gonna need those in, in the next dungeon. Okay, I'll just equip everything once I'm done with all my shopping. Probably want to restock on some items, particularly the chocolates. I think I got enough of the other stuff, though. Okay, how's it going? Okay. I might want to try and restock on some of those, uh, what are they, the Stardust Herbs. Wow, I used a lot of those. Well, at least I got enough round drops for now. Uh, game? Yeah, sometimes it takes a while for it to load the sub-menus like that. Um, did I equip all my weapons? 
Hmm, I better double check that. And lease. Okay, Duran, how are you doing? Okay, now that would be worth... Okay, yeah, we got all the big stuff for you. Let's see, where did I... Or where is that arm item shop? Ah, there you are. I forgot where exactly that one was. Okay, what do you got? Yeah, we could use... Hmm... Yeah, let's bring nine of them with us. That should be good. Don't need walnuts yet. But I do want to buy a whole bunch of these. So get a little more there. And we're good on grails for now. And okay, I think we're good there. Well, let's see if we can take a boat back to Maya or Bazel and then walk back to Maya. Or some way we can get to a cannon so we can get back to... Uh, not Rolante. Uh, Porsena there. Well, let's check it out. Where where can you get a ride to? Oh, well, thank you. Is it like a Monoholy Day discount or something? No? Well, I mean, it is free, so... How do you beat that? I like how with the world map, they always have a little dot telling you, well, this is probably where you want to go at this point. Or some, there's a number of times where there's multiple areas that you could potentially go through. Yeah, the game's not, well, past a certain point. The game starts to become a bit less linear. Uh, dude, you missed your turn. Did we get caught in, like, a current or something? Yeah, just circle around back and then we can get there. Man, these guys take the lo really long way to get there. What is this, World of Warcraft? Well, the boats do pretty good, but I was referring to the flight points. Can't we just go in a straight line to get there? Uh, d guys, why are you circling this island? What's going on here? Well, let's check it out. Yeah, but, uh, guys? Yeah, it's not that long of a ride to get there. Well, we better check that out. Ship kind of looks a little creepy. Hmm, well, let's take a look. Well, there's nothing going on here. Oh, yeah. There was that, what, Mataro guy or whoever was talking about it? What's up, fairy? Oh. Well, yeah, they're ghosts. What would you expect? I guess she's referring to a mana spirit. Okay. Uh-oh. They came from behind. Well, before moving on, let's go this way. Where did, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, where did all my sound effects go? Watch out for these, uh, not specters, uh, ghouls. Because, yeah, they could poison you and really wail on you. But for defeating them, we get a zombie salesman for some reason. But, yeah, he just sells items. But at least this way, you don't get totally hosed if you went here and you didn't make a backup save for whatever reason. There's a door to the left there. But we can't do anything over there right now, so I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not even worried about drops at this point. Not for a while, actually. Well, might as well get a little more magic defense. We might need it here. And also, watch out for those chibi devils, because they can... Uh, well, chibiko you, just like the other ones from before. Alright, got him. Oh, what do we get for our prize? Awesome.
Now this is the way you're supposed to go to get through the ship. Uh, by the way, uh, all the enemies here, are, well, almost all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are weak to Wisp, so if you had Angela in your party, yeah, she could wail on these guys with her Holy Ball spells. Is that all of them? Hmm, blood, death, okay. Well, you didn't, you wouldn't have to go here to find that. But I just wanted to show where you're supposed to go to find that combination. Because, try going through there, yeah, nothing we can do there. But, let's see what we got here. Uh, sure, why not? Could use a decent HP MP restoration. Well, not that I need it, but... Whoa! Yeah, this is fake. It's an ambush! Okay, come on, get my tech going. Good. I want to hit at least two of them with uh, full charge tech. Watch it. Uh, at least... Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else we can do here. You don't even have to check that message that's a book of blood, death, curses, death, whatever it is. By the way, you could go back to the starting point there, and you actually would be able to rest up there and get a full heal there if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now, but you could if you wanted. Hey, hey all right. Yeah, intelligence of magic defense will be pretty useful on the boss here. Spoiler alert, there's going to be a dungeon at the end of this. Or, a boss at the end of the dungeon. Or a dungeon at the end of the boss. Sometimes. Not usually. Are we done? Nope. Well, what do we get for our prize? Oh, great. Come on. Whew! Getting a little better at that. It always takes a little adjusting for me to get the timing down on that. Okay, blood, death, curses, death, and boom! Yeah, we open this area. And let's see. Oh, um, let me see. Let me select Hawk here to read the book there. Red rum. Whoa. Who's there? Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a ghost nut. Oh. How did you get here? I didn't see you get on the boat. Maybe he came before us. But you're not alive anymore. You're kind of dead. Oh. What do you got? Hmm? Hawk, what's the problem? Oh. Nuts. Oh, well, what happened? Oh, okay. Well, can we pass it on to one of the monsters? That seems like a good deal. But yeah, whoever you have read the book there, yeah, they're, they're the ones who get cursed. Ha ha. No, of course not, fairy. Now you're just talking crazy. Ah, okay. So yeah, at this point in the game, you only have two party members for the remainder of the ship. Although there's not too much left. But if you wanted to, you could talk to Hawk and then switch places with them. But I want to leave Hawk here because he has more experience than my other two party members. But can we find a way to break the curse on him? Find out next time on Let's Play Second and Set to 3. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.